Windows 8 Beta, the consumer preview versus Windows 7. When it comes to performance, I'm trying to see what's new. What's the difference? In my previous video, I showed you a first look on the Metro style desktop, the interface. Today we're looking at speed. So when it comes to boot up times, for example, in Windows 7, let's start with a comparing of Windows 7, it did 12 seconds here to boot up to the login screen. Total, it was 31 seconds to get to the desktop to load up all the icons and everything. In Windows 8, in the beta consumer preview here, we got 10 seconds, 27 seconds total, which is definitely a little bit faster than Windows 7. Okay, of course, it depends on how many things you have installed overall, but this is the same machine dual boot. Now, memory usage. 8 gigs of memory here in Windows 7. About 1.5 gigs is used up based on all the stuff that's running in the background, right? So your desktop management, your explore.exe, your SVC host, all that stuff that's running in the background there. You can see how much is being used up, how much is cached, the total amount of memory. And in Windows 8, again, when we compare in the task manager, the memory, the resources, how much is being used up, I did go through it and I did find that indeed Windows 8 is using less resources. So that's great to see that there's improvements here when it comes to memory usage. Okay, now I am using the Windows uh, 8 64 bit as well as the Windows 7 64 bit on the exact same machine dual boot. Keep that in mind, okay? So apples to apples, we're trying to do here. One gig basically of memory is being used up as opposed to 1.5 gig in Windows 7. So there are some improvements here on the amount of memory that is cached, paged, used. I can tell the difference a little bit there. It is faster. Now when it comes to PC Mark 7, in Windows 7 I got these benchmark scores. You can see 4526 total. Okay. But in Windows 8 I did notice that the creativity and the entertainment scores were higher. So that's what brought up this overall score as you can see here to 5470. So the creativity score which is basically your video transcoding, watching videos, um, multimedia tasks, um, DirectX 10, that was greater. 3D Mark 11, so DirectX 11 type of benchmarks. Here are the scores in Windows 7, 7589. And in Windows 8, it actually was a little bit less. Okay, so DirectX 11, we're seeing a little bit of an improvement, but still basically almost on par with Windows 7. Not not that much to talk about here. Okay, now we're looking at Furmark for the OpenGL graphics benchmarks. You can see here in Windows 7, 10,821 is the score. Okay, not bad at all. And then when we look at Windows 8, same Furmark benchmark, it was a little bit higher. Okay, so it did much better there on the OpenGL and this is with the same drivers by the way installed okay from AMD just so you guys know same exact drivers now looking at the Dragon Age 2 on these settings you can see the game demo here we're running some benchmarks DirectX 11 of course and we got a slightly higher benchmark score on frames per second on Windows 8 on the Alien vs Predator benchmarks again Almost identical. Windows 7 actually was one more frames per second higher, but uh, no big deal. Basically, it was the same. The IDA 64 uh, memory and CPU readings, I noticed that uh, there were slight differences there if you take a look closely on uh, the L3 cache, for example. But overall, you know, I didn't really notice too much of a difference there when it comes to how it handles uh, the memory. Um, and the CPU, it recognized things pretty much equally, so that was uh, pretty good to see. But of course, as new drivers come out in Windows 8 and things get updated, I hope to see performance increase in Windows 8 that I can show you guys later on. So overall, the 8 beta seems to perform slightly faster. I don't know if you guys have tried it yet and seen any difference, but on my next video, I'll go through some more of the features and compare features in Windows 8 that are now changed as opposed to Windows 7. So comment below what you think and again thank you for watching.